I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a like a little baking cooking video for you guys. As you can see, I'm just chilling today. I have nothing going on. I haven't really had the best week mentally and physically, so I wanted to kind of just make a chill video to show you guys how I make healthy dairy-free peanut butter cookies not my recipe so i'm just going to be baking it for you i found it on pinterest but it's under taste lovely i think this girl named natalie grundle made this recipe she's in charge of like the taste lovely website so i'm going to be linking everything down below so if you're interested in this cookie recipe keep on watching Hey guys, okay, so you're going to need to get your all your ingredients together. So I'm using Smart Balance peanut butter, creamy and crunchy, baking soda, vanilla, coconut sugar, and one egg. And then you're going to be combining that all into the same bowl. So you're going to need one cup of peanut butter. Like I said, I'm using creamy and crunchy, but you can either use creamy or crunchy, whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to be adding that into the bowl along with one cup of coconut sugar as well and then one teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon of baking soda and one egg Once you get all your ingredients into the bowl, you're just going to be stirring it with a spoon until it gets to a good consistency and then it's going to get a little harder to stir towards the end. Once you have that, you're going to be stirring the dough into balls. I usually get around 20 to 22 and then you want to make sure they all have enough space in between them all so they can puff out enough. And then after that, I use my fork and do a little checkered pattern on them. I don't think you necessarily have to do this, but I think it's better for them to puff out better. And then I set my oven to 350 degrees and then set my timer for nine minutes and then you just wait for them to bake. After the nine minutes are up, your cookies should look like this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please like and subscribe for more, and thank you so much for watching.